Hey everybody, it's Martin Flickin' Feathers again today, and I'm tying a Silver Doctor Temple Dog. It's a hair wing version of the classic salmon fly. And so I'm using a some red tubing. This is TM Co tubing, but you can use whichever tubing you like, whether it's the fit system for guideline, I quite like that as well. And I'm using some 18 knot Semperfly Nano Silk for my thread. It's nice and strong, so you can really bind down, but it's also very, very fine. You'll notice that I've cut the back tube at an angle so that this kind of it can slope up, your tying can slope up, and also. It will never separate because you're tying the tubes together, right. and then I don't bother with any super glue. Just gonna have a wee bit tight there. That's better. And I'll take my thread back to where the the inner tube stops right? and I've left myself about 6-7mm there behind it first thing is a wee silver tag and I'm just using some silver holographic tinsel and just to protect it I've just got a wee bit of super glue to wind and wind over it. Does it want to turn there? It's better. So just wind that over the wet super glue. A couple of tons is plenty. Cross your thread. Tie it off. Away your excess. Set that aside for later. Then for the butt, I'm using some fluorescent red dubbin. Any old dubbin will do. This is a an SLF from Subai. You don't need much. a wee pinch plant it and then load up your wee oven ball there the tail is um, I'm sort of deviating slightly from the traditional uh, the tail in the original golden pheasant and up top and up a blue, you would use blue hackle probably nowadays. Um, but I'm using craft fur, uh, it's really nice and mobile. And it, makes a, it makes a lovely tail on a, on a temple dog. I'm just sort of aligning the fibres slightly, I still want that natural taper length. I'm looking at the length of the heavy tube. Punch and lip that on. And then I'll use the, the start of the taper, tapered cut as my measure. Because that'll be the rear half of the body. Then I'll just repeat this with the silver the blue craft fur, but we'll tie it slightly shorter. Again, you just sort of stack it to a slight taper and then tie that in, say, two thirds of the length of the yellow. Tidy up. And 
rib is just going to be some oval silver tinsel. You can use wire if you like, it's a bit stronger. But then on the tubes it's not that big, a, big an issue anyway. You got your leader away from the fish's teeth. Catch this in. Tidy everything up. So that noise, that's the Sibai, uh, the Semperfly labels. The labels are terrible on these spools. Um, they're always listening. So I'm just tying in that tag of hollow silver and I'm taking the thread forward to the the start of the tapered the taper in the cone. And then just wind this forward. Really slick this thread. It's good and strong, but you need to you need to remember to really crank down on it. So first turn straight, keep tension on it, and then as you wind forward, just overlap the turns, build yourself a nice silver body. And when you start hitting this taper. Bring your thread across, hold it tight, tie that off. Make sure that's well tied then. <clears throat> so, that's the rear half of the body. For the front half, I'm using some. Silver holographic ice tub. Don't be shy with your dubbing. Because this will be getting brushed out. It's, it's, I mean, it's got a lovely effect once it's brushed out. So, But make sure you've got enough on to brush it well into the hackle. more than that. Even that looks huge, but don't worry. Right. I mean, it should look huge at this stage. Hackle, I want a sort of webby Chinese cock hackle. Fairly long in the fibre. Fold the stem back, two or three wraps over it, hold your thread tight and snap the, snap the hackle stem. Just, just grab the tip and then take it back. There we go, much better. Once you get once you reach the tail, you can cross cross over the hackle with your rib and then just wind your rib through the through the hackle. Making sure you don't trap too many fibres. So I fold that back again. Anything going forward, just drop back and tidy up. Snip that away. Take away the hackle. Right, tip. And then at this stage, I'll come in and brush it. Into the oh, 
gives you a nice sort of halo effect it really first, blends in very well the first part of the wing is going to be some yellow fox polar fox and this should be your thickest bunch right? you want that teardrop wing you want to start adding the density at the base so I'll sort of get my measure and then before you tie it just get a run through with the, the velcro to sort of untangle the fibres see how it all opens up that lets you get a good a good idea how the wing will sit so we we'll tie that on top just pinch and loop two or three wraps use your thumb to sort of spread it come in your sharp scissors take away the waste and it's a good idea to wax your thread for grip just tied in over that it doesn't it looks a bit messy but it, you lose it then next part of the wing some metallic red and you'll hear just two or three strands Tie that in, fold it back, trim it just slightly longer than the yellow fox. And then you can even take your velcro and just sort of brush it, help to marry it into the fibres. Next some red fox. Slightly slightly lighter bunch. What run it through the velcro to open it up. And it's just a wee bit longer. And it's quite important here to make sure your tie-in point is exactly on top of the last one. Don't creep forward because you don't want to start having exposed thread. Turn that away. Bit of wax. For grip, one another blue hackle. And this is quite a big waterfly, you know. It's not. This is fairly heavy. And just tidy that up with a couple of tons of hackle there. Just sweep the fibres back as you go, doubling the hackle. Don't go crazy though. Right, that's plenty. Cross it over, fold the tip back. Put some tons over the top of it. So the next part of the wing is some more angel here. I'm actually using seafoam green, it's a nice sort of pale pearly blue. Same again, just a few strands, slightly longer than the red fox. Fold them over.
Be a brush. Now we're ready for the blue Arctic Fox. Same again. Get the get the, the the velcro through it. Clean clean out all the rubbish. So you can roll it to help it take the form. Wax tied in nice and securely, nice and tight. Turn the rubbish away. Now we're going to come in with the front hackle. I'm just using um, a spade hackle from a Whiten American rooster neck. Right? So it's a salt water neck basically, but the, the big spade hackles you don't use at the back are really good for salmon flies and for the length I'm going to tie this in by the tip fold it back and keep the thread tight and break it away and then fold your hackle wind it one turn in front of the other. You could use guinea fowl or something but I quite like the effect of this. Guinea fowl would be sort of closer to the original the original dressing. Come across the thread tie it Hold it back. If it doesn't want to break, you just cut it. Now we're almost done. Let's put a flash. We've got some silver holographic uh, survive sparkle here. It's really nice. It's, it's a bit like polar flash. You could use that if you don't have. You could use that if you don't have any of this. Again, just two or three strands is plenty, and I'll let that come in just longer on one side. Cut the turns to hold it. Hold it all back. Just sort of let that come across the top of the wing on either side. And the last, last part of the wing. Actually, I'm using some craft fur. It's um, it's not, it's not the most common material in in salmon flies, but it it, it should be. I mean, you should be if if you innovate, if you're into kind of innovating with materials and trying new stuff out, this is good stuff to try. It really moves well, and it's pretty tough as well. It's durable, so instead of also helps to sort of give you a really nice taper. I don't know if you can make the maximum width. You'll see it in the picture in the photo anyway. So I'll just catch that in, tie it on top, keep everything nice and small. Jungle cock. 
couple of decent sized eyes. Just using real jungle cock for this. You can use the subs if you like. Got two eyes there. Strip away anything that I don't need. Just offer them up. Just catch them in at the base of the black. I like to leave them fairly long going into the wing. Couple of turns. See how they're sitting for length. There you go. And then, as always, fold the stem back and tidy everything up. And I basically finish the head at this stage. Um, I mean, it's up to you. You could, uh, if you want to put a cone on, on it, you can. But um, I'm tying these unweighted today. Come in for a quick, quick finish. I just see a wee bump there in the head that I don't like, so before I do that, before I finish it, I'll just tidy that up. Right, that's fine. There's a bit of excess wax there, but that's not a problem at all. When I when you melt the tube, that will just disappear. And then just once you've done that, keep your thread tight. Snap away the the uh, the waste pieces of the jungle cock. Snap away your thread. And what I like to do is, oops, put the needle back and I'll just put the needle back. I'll just trim this a couple of mil. That's all you need. Push the needle back until you can just about see it. And then I'll come in with my lighter. Burn that back. And it's ready now to take the Ready now to be varnished up. I like to give my first the first coat and these I always like it to be red. But that's up to yourself. You could just use clear if you like, which I'll just I'll just use a clear one of it here. Get two or three coats of varnish. And there you have it. A silver doctor hair wing, temple dog. Obviously you can change, tie them bigger or smaller to suit what you like. This is obviously for big water, fly like this. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more HD fly tying videos. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye.